person who is following a smell of a meat somewhere muri ba ne ba le ufwe chena chire nungira ero ale ale konka le ale konka hoping you find the meat you don't know which house is cooking the meat it will not come it will not come because look IMF was telling us from the PF uh, time they were telling us that your budget is spent on personal emoluments you pay a lot of people what you need to do is to cut on 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 your employers in government this is what IMF used to tell us now our new don now is they are increasing they, are, they want to employ because they they promise that they will create jobs and they don't know where to create jobs new don government they don't know how to create employment they don't know employment in the public sector is not creating employment employment in the public sector is not creating employment you are just overburdening your government you are just overburdening your government what you to create employment it has to be outside government that is where you can you create employment because to do that you create industries to do that you have to come up with the, um, effective farming uh, strategies to do that you need to come up with retailing and unfortunately this government they don't know about these things as if president haka in the is not coming from the private sector you can't tell me that you are creating employment in the public sector and this is what imf has been talking about that you know you have employed too many people in the government can you reduce on on that and unfortunately they are increasing on that it's true some of these uh, i mean some of these uh, uh, employment it's good for the for, for 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 zambians but what i'm insisting is that employment the significant creation of employment must be done in the private sector and this government is killing the the private sector how are they killing the private sector they came in since they came in when they just came in they labeled all those people who were doing business with the, the previous government they labeled them corrupt thieves ineffective and instead they have embraced the foreigners they have embraced the foreigners since this government came in they have paid more foreigners than zambians in their so-called debt dismantling process they have prioritized the foreigners they have been paying foreigners they don't pay zambians a lot of zambians who supplied little little things like beans kuliwaka pokola kuliwaka pokola beans na mayo aya kungula beans somewhere are the full force headquarters and up to now he has not been paid because they are saying they are cadres now this is unacceptable this is unacceptable you can't come and label everyone a cadre corrupt and this is why my brothers and sisters if you have not realized this is why we are having shortages of medicine because the people that were supplying medicine but new don by saisa they have come in and they have said all these are corrupt all these are corrupt and now they have been looking for people that can supply medicine but medicine is not something that you can supply like timber iba zesco valechita no zesco a, a, a medicine cannot be supplied by anyone it is supposed to be supplied by experts with certain regulations in place and for somebody to qualify to supply medicine you need to be certified you need to be given a license but our one to elevate them immediately they came in they said no we are not going to work with them and they started going around the country i have information they wanted they went to switzerland to go and ask if they can buy medicine directly from there and they were told no we have agents that supply your country you can't buy directly and in other countries people respect their citizens they want to work with their citizens they don't like government to government kind of thing because they want to empower people and yet here we have a, a director at zesco and uh, his colleagues napita kapalawine they are saying no we can't give zambians we can't give zambians to supply pause 
We can't give Zambians to supply force because they are middlemen. Is Peter Kapala, I, I excuse him because he's, a, he's an engineer. So maybe some of these terms, he may not be familiar with them. What do you mean when you say, when you say middlemen? When myself, if I get an order from Zesco, and then I go and buy from a manufacturer, I supply to Zesco, do I become a middleman? Then who is a retailer? Then who is a retailer? And that's why clearly we have retailers and wholesalers. This is very clear in terms of business. There are those who are wholesalers, there are those who are manufacturers, and there are those who are retailers. And there is nothing like middlemen, there is nothing wrong for Zesco to give a Chirufatayari, for example, to go and buy timber from a manufacturer and bring it to Zesco. Because when you do that, you are creating employment, you are creating a livelihood, first of all, for me as Chirufatayari and my family. You are also creating employment for the people that have employed. You are also creating employment and a livelihood for the transporters that I'm going to that I'm going to engage. If you hire a company which is outside the country, that country will start by looking and working with the people that are of that country, including transporters. So even the transporters are cut out. Even the in to some extent, even the, the, the clearing agents. Because we know, especially with the mines, they have got they have created to my companies which they call Zambian companies, and yet they are the owners. And they use these companies to clear their goods. They don't use Zambians. It is the same in the transport sector. In the transport sector, this fuel that we are talking about, we have companies here who are supposed to be OMCs, and they are supposed to be contracting Zambian businessmen or Zambian transporters. Instead, they have bought trucks. And these trucks are the ones who are transporting their they are goods. My brothers and sisters, the things that I'm talking about, these are facts. And I'm trying to, I'm belaboring to make you understand how this government has been a disaster on many fronts. On many fronts, look at the things that I've touched on. And yet President Haka in the Ichilema can say, can dare say that we are moving forward. They are messing up the economy. They are giving this economy to, to the foreigners. Because the debts, they are paying the foreigners. Business, they are paying the foreigners. Another person said, no, Zambians, they overprice. There is what we call price index now. There is what we call price index. So you simply say, if you have to supply a timber, it will not be more than 1,500. And that is what will go. That is what will go. So where is the issue of Zambians overpricing? Tell them how much you want them to supply. Tell them. At no, some Zambians have not supplied. Who are those? Let's, let's arrest them. Let's arrest them. Let's prosecute them. So, in my view, this government is, is a mess. It's really a mess. It is a disaster. I am declaring this UPND government a disaster government. A new darkness, a new darkness, not a new dawn, a new darkness. In many fronts, there is nothing. I wish a minister would come here, Peter Kapala, Kabuswe, for example. Yeah, they said, no, we want to empower Zambians, we want to empower the youths. Our licenses to the mines, they have closed up. Why? Because whoever was issuing licenses was corrupt. Oh, Black Mountain, let's give it to the whole entire Copper Belt. It is a mess what is happening at the Copper Belt there. And Peter Kabuswe is sitting there, enjoying himself, and making all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, rhetorics that uh, uh, the Black Mountain is better managed. The Black Mountain is a disaster now. It is a disaster. And Peter Kabuswe must, must recognize this fact. And sort out the mess that is causing, causing, uh, causing at, the, at the Black Mountain. Mind you, I want to caution P, uh, Peter, Peter, Peter uh, is it Paul Kabuswe? Paul Kabuswe, I want to caution him. He has to understand the history of the Copper Belt. Copper Belt, if you remember in the past, there was high crime there. And the high crime 
was somehow reduced with the help of the Black Mountain. A number of youths, they go there and they have a light do. The mess that is causing in the Black Mountain, very soon, very soon, we will have high rate of crime in the Copper Belt. And Peter Kabuso, because him is protected by the Zambia police, he will not be affected. But the people there will suffer. So I am calling upon Peter Kapa, Peter, uh, Peter Kabuswe, Paul Kabuswe, that please, can you, can you go to the copper belt and sort out that mess? It is really a mess. My brothers and sisters, there are a number of issues. There are a lot of issues that I can touch on. But I think I've demonstrated to you that this government is a disaster. It is a disaster. President Haka in the is a disaster. He is a disaster. And he should not flatter himself to think that, no, he's doing well. No. There is nothing that he can point at. CDF, he was celebrating the other day. No, we have released money for CDF for the first quarter. First quarter, this is second quarter. This is second quarter. So if you want to your CDF to work, you must give money at the beginning of the quarter, not at the end of the quarter. How does that help you? How does it, that help the people? You are talking about free education. Every day by UP, by UPND, free education, free education, free education. Free education, the teachers, a number of teachers have not been put on payroll. A number of teachers have not been put on payroll. That is to start with. We are talking about that. Money, among grants to the government schools have not gone. They have not gone. Headmasters and the headmistresses are now struggling to run the schools. So how are they going to run the school? Just by saying, no, 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 you can go to school, wherever you can go to school. You have a frustrated teacher, you have a frustrated headmistress, what education is going to be there? It is a disaster, it is a disaster. So on the economic front, I can tell you, UPND is really a disaster. They have made things worse than where they found them. And they can argue, they can say whatever they want, but these are the facts that have, that have laid down on the table. So, the last issue that I, I wanted to say, I wanted to discuss now is to say, with all these things that happen, with all these things that are happening, it is time for the opposition to wake up. It is time for the opposition to wake up. And I am appealing to all my brothers and sisters to wake up. And I'm appealing especially to those in the so-called UPND alliance. Those who are in the UPND alliance, tapayo from wikari doko. Atichi kari kapansa ka, musumba wawari, tapayo from wikari doko. Just dismantle yourself, be like KBF, and start operating on your own. To those young people who are looking for a political party to join and everything, for us now, nalewa tinalawa pa sabatiko, but I don't think this is time to be on a sabatiko. This is time to wake, and I'm calling all Zambians to come and join Economic and Equity Party. Most of you say, Tayari is a joker, what, 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 what? I joke around because in Shikwe Toru Pia. Guys, so, since in Shikwe Toru Pia, Mwalanko Mkele Lakwama jokes at least. Ngachara Tawwe Toru Pia, you know, at Ngachin Jiwo Ipa, eh? Ziwa Kuimba Nyimwe, eh? Ngachulipe Mahafu, at least, <laughs> entertain people. <laughs> but I am asking for those who have money to come and help Economic and Equity Party. We mean well, and this time around, I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to Now I not know, I'll give myself 10 years and everything. Baaka Inde Ichilema is a one, one term president. I've changed my mind. I'll be going for 20, 2026. 2026. <laughs> that is what I'm for. I'm looking for. Vaka inde. Ah, I'm there now. If you peta, now if peta, I'm going to know if and I know there are people that he might be telling him, Chan Chan, you know what can do it. No, a president, you are doing good. Chan Chan, whatever. Ah ah. I'm there now. Vaka inde. Listen it from me. Listen it from me. I'm there now. I'm feeling fiery. But now if peta now. Now, if you pay, can you feel already? I'm a muli imwe. Ever run, ever run, you be poor. But who if you are unsafe? We na Zambia, a Zambian. Who if you out there? Finish around, meet a shisha. Waka indi. 
Et tu as dit, tu as dit, tu as dit, tu as tu as tu as dit, 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 tu as tu as dit, tu as dit, tu as dit, tu Ta fili wino ndeme wechinka, na landa wechinka, mufu machumi, wa mdala wandi, pull up your socks, things are not okay. You are looking, you, are, you have got four years ahead of you, but you need to change. But number one, come to the people, apologize to them. Apologize to them and give them hope. Give them your direction. So far, there is no direction. You need to laza yeka yeka, na landa na puisha. I, I, I don't think Panefia are people. But I'm not sure if you're a people. 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 You're a people.